let's start with this first term of a right circular cone. Now, what is the first term of a right circular cone? If a cone is cut off by a plane parallel to its base, then the portion between the plane and the base, we call it as frustum of a cone. Okay, everybody. Now, the meaning of this word frustum is piece cut off. What is that? Piece cut off. Now, what is the plural form of it? The plural is frusta. Now, in this section, we'll study about the introduction part of frustum of a cone, then the related formulas, and some real-life examples of frustum. Okay? So, let's move forward to the figure of a frustum. Okay, everyone? Now, look at this. You can see a big cone. Can you see that, everybody? It's a big cone. Now, we are cutting the cone. Okay? Now, this is going to give you two parts. One as the small cone and another part as the frustum. Okay? So, I hope the introduction part of frustum of a cone is very, very clear to everyone. I am moving forward to the related formulas here. Okay? So, here you can check this out. This triangle triangle O and D, it's, it is similar to triangle O, M, B. Okay? By which similarity criteria? It is by this angle, angle similarity. Fine, everyone. Now, here we can write some relation between H1, H2, H, L1, L2 and L. So, the relations are H1 is equals to H R1 divided by R1 minus R2, which is equation 1. Okay. Now, H2 is equals to H R2 divided by R1 minus R2. This is equation 2. Now, similarly, we can get L1 is equals to L R1 divided by R1 minus R2 equation 3 and this L2 is equals to L R2 divided by R1 minus R2. I hope this part is very clear all of you. Yes. Now the first formula of frustum we can write down volume of a frustum. The formula is one-third pi h in a bracket r1 square plus r1 r2 plus r2 square unit q and we got the relation we got the formula from equation one and equation two okay now, let's move further for the second formula. That is, curved surface area of a frusta. Now, the formula is what? This is pi L in a bracket R1 plus R2 square unit. Yes, Gauri. Okay. So, now the third one, we will write it down. That is the total surface area. Yes, Gauri. Abhinet, we can write down this as pi L in a bracket R1 plus R2 plus what you will write down? That is pi R1 squared, which is the area of base 1. Can you see that all of you? Area of this base 1. And we'll write down plus pi R2 squared, which is the area of base 2. I hope you people are getting it. Okay. So, we, all, we got the formula that is total surface area squared 
unit. Now, what is L here? This L is equals to root under h square plus r1 minus r2 whole square unit, which we get by using the Pythagoras theorem. So I hope all the related formulas are very, very clear to everyone. Okay. So now we'll see some real life examples of Frustum, which we use in daily life. So let's move forward to this slide. So do we use table lab in our daily life? Yes, thermocol glasses are also some also one great example of Frustum. Right, everyone? Yes, Gauri. And this street cone, it is also a very good example of Frustum. I hope this topic is very clear to everyone. 